Hello students, today we will study social studies of class 4. Let's begin with the first chapter. What is history? History is the story of the past. In history, we will learn how people lived in the past, what they ate, how they survived in the past. History History is the study of past. Study of past means in the past how people lived, what they ate, the clothes they wore, how they traveled from one place to another. For example, early man lived in jungles. They ate leaves, fruits and whatever they got in jungles. The clothes they wore were the leaves of the plants. They travelled on foot from one place to another. So, by studying history, we get to know the lifestyle of the people who lived in the past. Now, there are some people who study history. These people are known as historians. Historians are those people who study history. Some people study old objects buildings and coins. Such people are known as archaeologists. Now, what is the difference between a historian and an archaeologist? Historians used the written sources whereas archaeologists do physical work. Historians study the written records of the past, the records which are written by some another people, whereas Archaeologists analyze physical things. They do the field work. They go to the forts, monuments, buildings to study the architecture of the past. <clears throat> Next, what is the need to study history? Why do we need to study history? By studying history, we get to know about plants and animals which are extinct. Extinct means which no longer exist, which no longer exist today, but they existed few years back. Also, history helps us to understand the world around us, the environment around us. By studying history, we discover new things and learn how they changed with time. For example, when we study the history of India, we get to know that India was under the British rule and our national leaders sacrificed their lives to make our country free. This we came to know only by studying the history of India. So, it's very important to study history. History is very vast, so to understand it in clear way, it is divided into periods. The first is ancient, very old. In this period, we learn about the history in the time period from 3600 BC to 500 AD. Second, medieval period, means middle period. In this, we learn about the story of the people who lived between 500 AD to 1500 AD. Third is modern period which is recent, which, st which starts from 1500 AD till present. Here BC and AD. BC refers before Christ and AD refers Anno Domini. So history is divided into two, three periods, ancient, medieval, modern, to make the study clear and to understand it in better way. We are in the modern period of history. We live in 21st century. We can calculate the century by the given year. For example, suppose the year given is 1225. In the first two digits, we add 1. Then the number which we get is its corresponding century. Likewise, 1225. 
12 plus 1 means is equal to 13. So the year 1225 belongs to 13th century. Likewise, another example, 1585. We add 1 to 15 and we get 16. So the year 1585 belongs to 16th century. Here's an activity given in the book for you all. Which centuries do the following years belong to? 1225. Adding 1 to the first digit, we get the corresponding century. So, this is an task for you to complete. Thank you.